What's up guys, John from Beyond AR TV. It's time for a track review. Wanted to talk briefly about the new Coldplay single off of their album that's been announced for a while, at least the title of it, A Head Full of Dreams. And the lead single from this thing is called Adventure of a Lifetime. I have to say, whenever I played this for the first time, it's not what I was expecting. It's, in fact, it like it is a drastic change from their last record, Ghost Stories, which was definitely a breakup album, but one of my favorite Coldplay records to date. I have high expectations for uh, A Head Full of Dreams, but I knew what to expect. I knew it was going to be a much brighter sound, and they definitely showcase that right off the bat with this new song. Johnny's guitar cuts through with an incredibly catchy riff that kind of loops all throughout of the song, and it's just really something that gets quite mesmerizing after a while. I, I find myself paying attention to the instrumentation almost more than the lyricism when it comes to this track. Now, I will say that the lyrics are probably the weakest aspect of the song, at least in parts. I think some of them are pretty good, and I like the fact that this is just a very big and vibrant song talking about feeling alive again after pretty much feeling dead, seemingly, on that last record, Ghost Stories. He was trying to cheer himself up on the last record, and it seems like it worked. Chris Martin sounds absolutely vibrant on this track, very colorful, and I'm loving the artwork that goes along with this as well. Very just telling of what's to come on the album. Now, I will say that this is a very poppy sound for Coldplay. Uh, maybe something along the lines of Milo's Iloto. Uh, maybe even the poppiest thing that they've done yet. And Coldplay, I was talking to my friend Ben. He's a huge Coldplay fan, the biggest Coldplay fan I know. I asked him what he thought of the song, and he said, it feels like they're dipping their toes a little bit in the mainstream, but I know that they've always brought something different to the table with each album. And while I haven't really been an album guy when it comes to Coldplay, I've been more of like a fan of like singles and that sort of thing. Uh, I don't know. I feel like he's right there. I feel like they do bring something new and fresh most of the time. Maybe on their first couple of records, they played it more to the piano alternative type stuff, but since X and Y, I can definitely say that they've at least been bringing something new, fresh ideas and that sort of thing. I'm liking this song. Uh, it, it took a little bit to grow on me. I left it on repeat for a while, and this track review, I normally do tracks like the day of, but I was really busy yesterday, and I'd been kind of listening to the song taking it all in, wanting to see how I really felt about it, but I like it. It's not my favorite by any means. I don't know how the replay factor is. Uh, there's a few things that took a little bit to grow, grow on me, like the kind of, the way the whoa, whoa, kind of carry out the song at the very end. It gets a little bit funky. It's a very danceable tune, but it's likable. I have to say 3.5 out of 5 for this new Coldplay track. What do you guys think of Adventure of a Lifetime? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button on this video while you're at it. Maybe subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date on all my track reviews, things I have coming. I'm sorry I've been so busy. I haven't put out videos on the main channel in a while. They're coming, I promise. Just felt a little bit burned out there for a while on album reviews, but I'm getting back into the game with Ellie Golding, uh, a couple of other artists I plan on covering, like Grimes as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys very soon on Beyond AR TV.